The Lord once said this to me, and I believe it will be a great encouragement to you and will help you in your battles. This is what he said to me. Your battles are mine, not yours. And the way I fight your battles is through you. As you surrender your battles to me, as you praise me for your battles, your struggles, I will fight for you. It is your praise that opens the door for me to fight your battles. Don't try to understand it. Just do it. I got to say this again. The Lord said to me, it is your praise that opens the door for me to fight your battles. Don't try to understand it. Just do it. The Bible says that, that God inhabits the praises of his people. We don't. It's so easy to praise him when things are going good. But to praise him when, when, when all hell breaks loose. The Bible calls that. That's, the Bible says that's a sacrifice of praise. Praise him because we don't understand it. But when we do, our enemies, they just drop like flies. Look at the story in, um, I think it's 2 Chronicles 20. I'm not sure about King Jehoshaphat. So many armies. I think there were like 250,000 were coming toward Israel. And King Jehoshaphat said, what do we do? And the Lord said, praise. Send the worship team out. And I will fight for you. And as they were praising him, as the worship team was singing and praising the Lord, the Bible says the enemies got confused and started killing each other. And not one of their enemies stood. Not one. And afterwards, they went out and got the spoil. <laughs> That's a picture for us. That's a testimony for us. So even though you don't feel like praising, praise him. Tell him how good he is. I tell you... Everything changes. Miracles will happen. Look, at I'll give you some example. Jesus, you are so good, so faithful, so amazing. Your loving kindness is better than life. You are a good, good father. Your mercy endures forever. You are a God of hope. Nothing is impossible for you. You keep your promises. There is fullness of joy in your presence and pleasures forevermore at your right hand. You are worthy to receive honor and glory. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. Lord, you are my rock, my fortress, my buckler, my deliverer, my high tower, my strength, and the horn of my salvation. I got these from the Bible. As you read, especially the book of Psalms, write these things down. Because I'm not good at, at thinking of these things on the top of my head. I write them down and when I want to praise them, I walk through my house and just read from it. And my plan is to keep reading from it until it comes out automatically, until it's rooted in my soul. So can I encourage you today? You want to see a miracle happen in your battles? You want the Lord to fight for you? Then thank him for that battle and thank him for fighting for you. And though, then go about enjoying him and his creation while he is fighting for you.